OK, so first of all, we want to be able to find the antiderivative. I think everybody would agree that the integral here is not too bad, right? And we're just going to divide it from there. Now we just got to go ahead and plug it in. So again, and I can rewrite the 3 basically under the x squared. So I could have um, 2 cubed over 3 minus 3 times 2 minus, and again, I like to use brackets or parentheses, whatever may be the case. Um, let's do 1 cubed over 1, I'm sorry, over 3, minus 3 times 1. OK. 2 cubed is going to be 8 over 3, minus 6. Now again, you could use minus 6, but I would immediately, um, well, man, let's just leave it at that. Minus 6. Minus, again, distribute this to so eliminate the parentheses. So that'd be minus 1 third and then plus 3. So there's a couple ways you guys could do this. You could convert everything to have denominators of 3, which is not too bad to do. And then you could subtract everything. Or you could just associate property and you could just combine these two, which would be 7 thirds. And negative 6 plus 3 would be minus 3, right? You can just subtract these two and then subtract those two. And then I want to rewrite this in terms of um, denominator of 3. So therefore, that is 7 thirds minus 9 thirds, which is equal to a negative 2 thirds. Okay.